you don't like take you don't like picking you up. I know you don't. I know. You're so cute. No, you don't. You're so cute. Soft ball. Oh, go here. Hey, what's up, Danny here, and welcome to my channel and to another video. Today, I just want to talk about the manga Orange and the anime based on it. Uh, this is my first first impression. No, it's not a first impression. It's more of an initial thoughts. I'm just gonna be talking about the manga and the anime and compare it and just stuff like that. So yeah, anime. What I mean is this. Um, Orange is a slice of life romance um, shoujo slash sign and manga by Ishigo Takano. Um, it's about this girl named Naho who goes to high school and she receives a letter from her future self from 10 years in the future. She wants her present self to change some of the regrets she has made in her life and one of the biggest one is to save this boy this new transfer student from Tokyo named Kokeru and yes so she's supposed to save him from some major thing that is gonna happen in the future and yeah at first at first she thought it was a joke that someone is playing a prank on her and she didn't believe it she just put the letter away and forgot about it but when events happened that were written in the letter she kind of realized that, it's, that it wasn't a joke and that it was actual thing that is happening so she starts to try to change the things that the letters say and try to take some of the regrets away from her future self to give herself and the people around her a better future. So this is kind of the premise of the manga. The manga itself originally was a five volumes so there is three in the first one and two in the second one and there's a special extra story in the length of a manga in this omnibus version as well and the anime based on it has 13 episodes and every episode is a title like each title from the manga is an episode so each title is titled with letter 1, letter 2, blah blah and so on until letter 13 so this makes up the whole anime as well what I really like about the anime is it is really on point with the manga it's very true to the story so if you have read the manga and you want to watch the anime it's just everything is really happening like in the manga there's maybe a little bit of changes and some things have been extended since it's every episode is just one title there's, a, there's space in those 20 minutes of the anime to add a little bit of extra detail so that you expand some of the scenes and put some extra in there but the main plot and what people say and the main just the main story is pretty much just the manga which is really awesome but yeah the story is really great and thought through and I really like the characters especially Suva, my precious boy and Hagita, he's hilarious. There's always this one character in an anime or manga or you know, that is like the, the, the awkward funny friend. This is like a thing, so... And Hagita is that one and he's just so cute and funny and hilarious and he, make, he brings like the humor into the, this sad story. It is really triggery and heartbreaking and sad but it's also cute and heartwarming and 
you know, just... But yeah, I'm definitely in love with Suva. He is such a great character. He's so caring and selfless and such a sweet friend. And I think he's that kind of friend everyone needs in their lives. And I'm just that type of person who gets who can get really attached to a certain character and then I just follow him or her around in whatever I read or watch, if it's a film, if it's a manga, if it's a comic, whatever. There's always sometimes there is this character and I just fall in love with that character and I just want that character to be happy. And I'm always sad when a character is sad, and I'm happy when a character is happy, and I get really emotionally invested in that character. And Suva, that's this guy. I that that's what happened with this character, and just reading and watching the anime, it's just God, I was so emotional. Seriously, that was such an emotional roller coaster. Honestly, at first I was a little bit annoyed with the main girl because she was so... I don't even know how to say that, it's just... She didn't do anything, like... You just you just read there or you watch the anime and you're just there like... Just go and do something, just say it, just do this, just, and she doesn't and you just sit there like... Ah, God's sake! But the positive thing, her character d develops very well throughout the story and I'm not even supposed to say anything about this character because I am no different in actual real life. I am no different whatsoever. I'm very, very social, socially awkward. Like sometimes it's terrible even if I think about it, you know, like I'm just like, what the hell are you doing? But I can't help it, so whatever. That's why I'm talking to a camera. That's the sad part of it. But yeah, as I said, the anime is very true to the manga and as I said, it's very triggery and heartbreaking and all this. And I got very teary-eyed reading the manga, but I cried watching the anime just because the anime was there's moving pictures, there's people expressing their feelings and crying and talking and it's just everything is actually in motion and I think that's what made it even more sad because you just see that person's face expressions and you know what person I'm talking about. So it was just really nicely done and I mean I cried so I think they managed to do it right there was however I think it was episode 9 where the art was really lacking it was really weird because everyone was talking about it it's like it's like the the people who the animators and the the, the artists behind this didn't get paid for his episode or had like a moment or something because it just it was lacking some scenes especially if it's like far away characters because they can't put like that much detail into a person's expression so it's just very I don't know how to say that you have to watch it to see it and it was funny because everyone was saying that so gotta be true but it, it, it got better again with the next episode so I don't know it was just a moment I guess but it didn't it didn't really affect the story I did not cry in that episode I think maybe that's why I, I got emotional in every episode but that one maybe it is the art that makes it I don't know Besides of the manga and the anime, there's also gonna be an anime film. It has been released in Japan, I think in November, but it hasn't been released with English subtitles or dubbed. So I was I was checking um, Kiss Anime 
and there was no video in there and people were like commenting on it and saying like when is it coming out there hasn't been you know it's just this kind of thing but since it only came out in Japan in November I think it's just gonna take a while but I'm sure it's gonna be soon and I will definitely watch it because apparently it's Suva's point of view so and as I said Suva is that character I really got attached to and I really find it interesting to see the whole thing from his point of view so I'm definitely gonna watch the film Plus, I think it also features the extra story in the second manga. So that's interesting how they put it in the film, if they just finish the film and then put an extra part, part in it. And it's also interesting to see how much they shorten the scenes, because obviously film and anime series is a different length of time, so yes. Speaking of film though, there is an actual film about this, like a live action film. I did not even know that existed, which is stupid because Americans and, you know, they always make films and TV shows out of all the comics and the books. So why on earth didn't I think that people might actually do real live action films out of manga? There's a hell a lot. And there's an orange one and I was so tempted to watch it and I did and it was so freaking weird like not in a negative way but it was so weird because it was so new to me it was like new territory I've never in my life seen a Japanese film ever I've seen the Chinese martial arts film and all that, but I've never seen a Japanese film. And it was just funny because watching the anime, it's just the same. It's the same kind of exaggerated expressions and the high-pitched voices with the girls and screaming and the flailing and the... It's all the same as in, in the anime and it's really funny because they're real people and this is how they act but I think it's just the Japanese film industry because it's like Bollywood when you have like all the Indian films it's all colorful and with dancing and music and extra drama and like exaggerated crying and drama and all this and I think it's just that kind of film these people do that kind of things so watching Japanese stuff, just the films and TV shows are just like anime, real people, which is really funny. I am actually watching a TV show now on Netflix that is Japanese, it's based on a manga from the 90s. I'm pretty sure I've seen that manga in someone's collection video because there's always a picture in there that they show that I have seen before. I am 300% sure I have, so I don't know what it's called though. So, but it's really funny to watch because it's so funny. It's like so extra dramatic and so lovey dovey love stories and kissy and this. It's like so not the thing I watch, but it's just so funny because it makes me laugh because it's so funny. But then it's, there's also the actor in there who was in this one, who was playing Hagita, the funny, awkward friend with the glasses. So that's kind of cool seeing him. And I can't unsee Hagita. It's like he plays another character, but I can't unsee. And he's so sad and he's not getting the girl he wants. And it's just so sad. And I'm just like, I don't know. I'm, I'm turning into such a girl when I watch this. But yeah, thing if with the movie now, with the live action film is that it was 2 hours and 20 minutes long and the anime had 13 episodes, roughly 20 something minutes. So it's about 4 hours, 4 and a half hours of footage in the anime and the film was only 2 hours and 20. So they had to kind of shorten it for two hours. So a lot of things were missing in the film. 
it was like the same story as this everything happened the way it did in here but there were lots of parts that they cut out that were missing there's like a major part miss missing in the film and I was like huh that's interesting but obviously it's a film you have to shorten it but yeah it was still weird seeing those characters as actual people because it, I don't know it's just so funny to me because it's so new but I love it I absolutely I'm into it I'm so I'm so into it also compared to the anime I did not cry in the film except of the end but I think that's more due to the fact because I knew what's gonna happen and I've seen it twice like I've, I, I've read it in the anime so it was like so normal to me it's like re-watching something so maybe that's why I don't know if it's that I hope it's that so yeah overall I think this is a really great manga and it's a really great anime and I'd recommend it to everyone who wants to get into manga or wants to read something like this so yeah I would definitely recommend reading it but yeah that's really it for the video I've been talking so much I'm so sorry I don't know how to I don't know how to talk I'm so terrible with trying to get to the point and wrapping something up I've always been terrible and I always will be terrible so I don't think even think YouTube videos will change that fact I am terrible at this terrible so I am really 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 sorry that this turned out to be so long if you get to this point watching it thank you so much for getting through all of this babbling come in outside but yeah anyway I hope you like this video and I I will do more of those if you, if you like that and yeah read it if you have read it if you watch the anime or the film or anything related to orange let me know I will leave all links down in the description to this series where to find things and and all that so just check out the description box but yeah this is it for this video I hope you like it thanks so much for watching it means a lot to me all the followers and everyone so yes thank you so much but yeah that's it for this video I will see you soon in another one